it's your turn for your love reading for the month of August. I get to shuffle the cards. Doing it this way to make it easier today. Let's see. It's between you and another person that you're going through. How they feel about you and how you feel about them. This is your side. And this is this. Then, I'll just start right there and then I'll do you know, how you feel about them and how they feel about them. Alright, so you have Gemini now. I was like, who am I doing? I guess I'm doing Gemini males because I was doing females and males. I, don't know. I guess we're doing Gemini males first. Alright, so um, you have the lover's card. And they have the two of cups. So Gemini males, um, I feel like there is this strong connection. Both of you are in a strong, committed relationship. They have soulmates. So there's a pretty strong connection here. Uh, I feel like with the eight, the eight of cups, it's you know kind of past energy. Maybe there was something in balance here in the relationship. And they also have the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like both of you, there could have been some imbalance, especially when it comes to, you know, learning how to love each other and to take care of yourself in the process. Um, you know, you can't give to this other person if you're not willing to give to yourself. So I think both of you are learning that in some form of dynamic. Now, you have the Ace of Cups here, so there are new beginnings with you and another person, whoever that may be. Uh, but the Page of Wands, I feel like you're looking back on something. Uh, it could be in this past energy, something that maybe still needs to let go. Um, something, maybe a belief system, viewpoint. Um, maybe there's just something that you're looking back on with this new beginning. So I feel like in order to have this new beginning with this person, um, whether this is a new person, old person, or whatever the case may be, I just feel like you need to uh, remove any blocks, any things that are preventing you from going forward. Uh, for them, they have the King of Cups in reverse and a lot. So this could be either, you know, we have Earth here, Fire, uh, Sagittarius possible, uh, Water, um, Gemini. Um, so it looks like to me that... Um, this person is very emotional. They have a lot of passion for you. They have a lot of drive for you. Uh, but I feel like their obstacle in the midst of this relationship or the midst of this issue is when it comes to finding a balance within themselves and accepting themselves fully. Uh, so I feel like they do want the same thing when it comes to passion. And they have a lot of passion. But for some of you, there could be this issue when it comes to, you know, the perspective. That could be something. Because those are kind of like the same. You know, they're looking forward. You're looking back on something that maybe, you know, brought you a lot of discouragement in some way. Especially when it comes to your beginnings. So there's something that I feel like, you know, when you're in this position, this card, page of wands, in reverse, I feel like you're still looking back on something. And I don't think it's necessarily that. I think it's just your perspective on, you know, you don't want to make the same mistakes. I feel like you're trying to get over that. But also, too, I feel like they want to move forward with you. Um, so they're very emotional and they love you. Um, but I do feel like, you know, in the past, you could have dealt with a lot of imbalances, uh, especially when it comes to, you know, how to love each other and how to give to yourself. Especially this person, I feel like they, they've had to learn that. They've had to learn how to balance out the relationship and, you know, when it comes to, you know, loving themselves and accepting themselves. Because also, too, the Queen of Wands is about a woman, you know, she's kind of depressed. She's looking at her value. She's looking at what she's holding on to. Maybe this person was holding on to something, maybe with, you know, things that 
wasn't balanced out and it, it put her it put them in you know a state of depression a little bit especially if it is a past situation with you know maybe an ex-lover maybe with ex partnership with someone or soulmate that's necessarily you know it can be anyway anyone you know friend uh, soulmates are anyone possibly and I feel like they had to stabilize you know this connection with you and they had to let go of a lot of things especially when it comes to you know the stability within themselves you know depending on themselves for things let's see if we can get how you feel about them and how they feel. All right, Gemini Max. Um, how you feel about them is the Tower in reverse. And how they see you is the Nine of Cups. So I feel like the Tower card is basically, you know, it's anything from unexpected things, tragedy, loss. Um, usually it's, you know, receiving news. Maybe there's um, receiving news about something that was unexpected, that kind of shook things up, uh, but with it in reverse, I feel like it's about releasing those things in the past <clears throat> so you can move forward. Uh, I feel like with the Knight of Cups, you know, they they have a cup full of love for you, and they want to give it to you, um, but I feel like with the Tower card, you know, there's, there's still a lot of things about this person. I feel like you know, with the tower card, it's just, you know, things weren't always perfect with them. And I feel like you're understanding that, you know, there, there's things that still need to heal. There's still things that need to be resolved. And I feel like with the tower card, you know, it's a card of Scorpio. It is part of Taurus. Um, but it's pretty much, pretty much Uranus too. You know, a lot of people say it's the, the tower card is about Uranus. Um, so I just feel like things had a, in the past get shaken up between both of you so you can start over possibly or, you know, shake up things where you can have this new beginning that you want. Um, but I feel like with the Knight of Cups, it is good terms. You know, they, they have a cup full of love for you, which is good. Now to clarify, clarify the situation within this love connection, you have the nine of swords so this is about releasing this is about things that keep you up at night this is about hardship pain um maybe you felt like things were uh, said to you to bring you down in some way maybe betrayal maybe feeling left out maybe feel abandoned um, but within reverse, I feel like you're starting to see things more clearly and you're releasing things from the situation. Um, and then their clarifier is a page of pentacles and the four. So I feel like they ultimately want a happy ending with you. But I feel like it's also to the perspective within this relationship that we gotta we gotta change our perspective. I feel like um, in this situation that I'm feeling from their perspective is so we can flip this around. So I feel like, especially with the nine of swords, you know, it's releasing those, you know, toxicity, negativity from the past. So you can have a new beginning because I feel like sometimes things come up in our present that's from the past. So we can release those things. So we can move forward. Sometimes things block us and that could be why the page of wands here is, you know, it's showing you to look at the past to reflect on what needs to be released still because um, sometimes it has to come up, you know, to resurface so you can really know what it is to move on and to heal from. Um, it can either be this relationship or this connection or something that is lingering within your energetic feel, I'm thinking that shook you up in some way, maybe about the past. But I feel like they, they do love you. They want they want things turn to turn out in, in you know both of your favors and to have, you know, everything you want. You know, but I just feel like there's some things that you need to work in within the relationship to turn this around. Anyways, I hope that resonates with one of you. Bye bye.